Happy holidays, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to my little, well, I wouldn't say it's a crafting video, but more of an update video. Now, this was my first attempt at making a toy soldier using random objects I found around the house. Like this thing was from one of those uh, takeout cups, which is the top of them, filled up with some foam to give it some weight. This was my first attempt, that was a little shoppy. And the hat and the body are made out of used toilet paper rolls. And I just want to get back to it. This is not about this one, but I took that same principle and upscaled it. How's that for big? Here's a little comparison. So you can see how big this thing is from top to bottom and here's my hand so you can see how big this thing is so let me tell you what are the items about it. well first up the bottom is made of an old yogurt container a cereal container I can't very well remember what it was. And the legs and arms are made out of the same material, which I got from this box of incense. Now, this box of incense comes in a set of six. And each one of them are in these things. But we're not going within. This is the actual incense itself. A nice smell, too. But we're not this is the arms and legs of the toy soldiers so I used that along with some acrylic paints to make the toy soldiers I am very proud of it everything the body the body itself is made out of a Pringles can that's right this thing the body is made out of Pringles cans these little caps Pieces are made out of old soda bottle lids. So, same thing with this one. Now, this one, the hands are made out of air dry clay. So, that's it. I took one of these. Okay, we have two of them because the other one's like half of this. I actually still have the other half. So if I wanted to make a second one, I can actually do that. I just need to stock up on some of these. So, and I just have to make a face for it, and it will be good to go. So, what do you think? I just want to also mention it took me a couple of days. For you, it could be easier. But I do have a piece of advice. If you do attempt this, paint the pieces individually, then glue them together. Because if you try to paint it when it's all together, the vibrations will cause it to fall apart. Right now, the arms are still like a little loose. I gotta re glue them back together. But other than that, it's beautiful. It's perfect. I love it. It's gonna go right next to my tree out in the living room. And I'll probably make another one because I literally have an extra one. And I do have the other half of that, so I probably make another one. Oh, I forgot to mention the head. The head is made of an old Christmas orb ornament. Now I want to make this perfectly clear. The head is plastic. Do not try to attempt this with a glass one. I do not recommend you using a glass ornament. Use a plastic ornament. I also cut a hole. This is like the lid for it. I cut a little hole so it fits, the head fits in there perfectly. I also cut a little hole in the hat, the rim, which I made right here. It's out of a cereal box, stocked up, four on top of each other. I use the lids, like this one, to measure it out. And all together, I love it. It's beautiful. It's so 
much of an improvement from my one, but I still love it because it was my first attempt, but I took this idea and actually blew it up. I know that's what they used to say when they would take a photo and make it bigger. They blew it up. Anyway, I don't know if they still use that reference, but that's what I definitely did here. I might put a face on it. I might not. I kind of like it the way it is. But I do intend on putting a mustache on it, which I was inspired by the Pringles can. So that's what the mustache would look like. So, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this review of my toy soldier. It took me a couple of days to finish, but you can't argue with the results. I love this. My mom loves it. My sister loves it. It's beautiful. It is perfect. Hopefully Sarah's not listening to this because this is perfect. And, well, to me it is. I'm sure you people out there can come up with a better idea. Take this idea and grow, go with it. Uh, improve on it. I don't know. Make it like it's a spider soldier or something. I don't know. Maybe make it so like it has a cannon on the side of it, like it's a Megatron's toy soldier. I don't know. The up uh, the ideas are endless. You can literally come up with any ideas. And I gotta go now because I'm ranting on. But yeah, tell me what you think about it in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. And until the next one, this is Shadowfan82 saying happy holidays. And Merry Christmas, Happy Kwanzaa, or whatever you celebrate. I hope you have a good one. So, see you later.